For the last seven years, No Contest has been embedded on the WSL World Championship Tour, taking you behind the scenes at each location and exploring the culture and characters that make those places so special. For this new series, we're off tour and free to roam, diving into the radical surf communities thriving all over the world, from the North Atlantic to the South Pacific, Central to South America, and the Eastern and Western Mediterranean. Six months traveling on 35 flights with three world champions. One who's now undisputedly the best to ever do it. Pipe master, a handful of Olympians, and dozens and dozens of kind, generous, frothing, surf-obsessed locals. Painters, tattoo artists, journalists, writers, filmmakers, community pillars that make each scene what it is. Our first stop, maybe the most influential city in one of the friendliest surf communities on planet Earth, New York. We cruise with Kolohe and Dino, premiering his new film, and profiled a handful of the countless characters that make New York's surf scene what it is today. From the North Atlantic, we'll head to the South Pacific, to Fiji with Julian Wilson, to spend some time with Tevita Nukilau, trying to see how communal village life and a famous local route make Fijians so damn friendly. Arriving for the biggest swell at cloud breaking years, Jules makes his big wave debut sharing a lifetime session with the most barreled man in the world, John Roseman. From Fiji, we're headed to the Mediterranean, first to Italy to meet up with Leo Fioravanti for a Roman holiday with Stephanie Gilmore, from the coast of Rome to the island of Sardinia. Italians are perfectionists. They care about craft and attention to detail. And Leo lined us up with the best local guides that you could ever ask for, Roby D'Amico, Maurizio Spinas, and Lorenzo Castagna. From Italy, we cross the Med to the Middle East, Tel Aviv. Surfing in Israel goes back to the 1950s, and while it takes a second to get used to checking the waves next to gun-toting teenagers and gabardine-clad Orthodox old men, the scene that you see in Tel Aviv today would be surprisingly familiar for a surfer from, say, Southern California. There's esteemed local shapers, shop owners turned folk surf historians, tattoo studios that double as surf shops and galleries. There's Misto tube hunters, international event organizers. Israel's got it all. After hanging out with Leon Glatzer in Tel Aviv, we flew to see where he grew up in Southern Costa Rica, Pavones, a mile long left of near mythological legend, pioneered by a man named Danny Fowley known endearingly to the locals as the King of Pavones, and known to the DEA as the first American extradited in the war on drugs. So what I remember from the history with Danny is that he completely fell in love with the place, brought a bunch of books, kind of made a little school, offered whatever he could to the indigenous tribe, and then out of nowhere, he just bought the whole place. <laughs> which brings us to South Brazil, which ain't all beach bods and backwash, it's cold. And for the last episode, we're here to meet up with Mateus Hurdy on his magic island of Florianopolis. We'll travel the entire 600 kilometer long coastline of Santa Catarina and dive into the heart of Brazilian surfing. But we'll also jam and surf with one of the best skateboarders of all time who probably surfs well enough to make some heats on the QS. We'll also meet the most infamous artist in Southern Brazil, a man known only as Nenginho, and hang with Tomas Hermes, the country's first modern free surfer and his talented partner, filmmaker and architect, Anna Homanio. This series wouldn't have been possible without the countless local heads who took the time to take us in and show us their shops, studios, shaping bays, galleries, medical practices, villages, homes, and homelands. How would I describe the new direction? We owe a great debt of creative gratitude to the late, great Anthony Bourdain and Bruce Brown. We hope you enjoy it as much as we enjoyed making it.